Hello and welcome to Stellaris. My name is Bergfin and we're going to be testing a mod this week. Maybe even coming few weeks up until the, probably the Banks patch. So the Star Trek New Horizons mod for Stellaris has been around for quite a while. However, I've played it in the past and never really felt meh, meh, meh. So it's been, it's been coming along. It's been coming along quite nicely, actually. And in combination with some of my more standard UI mods, we're going to just dive into it and see how far it's come. Uh, a bit of a further, you know, before anything else kind of disclaimer. Uh, I have not had much time to look at this. Uh, my my uh, Terran Dominion campaign just ended, uh, having been abruptly interrupted by the uh, Scourge uh, spawning into my territory, basically uh, alt f 4 the game for me. Yeah, so let's dive right in here, shall we? There is, as I understand it, close to 40 species you can choose from. Not all have their actual ship um, models made unique, but all of them are actually unique species. Uh, there's anything from, uh, I think there was Kazon somewhere, right? Anything from the, the Vatvoir to, you know, uh, a lot of the, like, Delta Quadrant species. The Gorn are in here. <laughs> Very nice. The Breen, the Bolians, Jorns. The, I think these are Rejoin ships, not sure. The Endorians, the Folian, even the Dominion is in here, which is really interesting. The Dominion I've jumped into, and they seem to have like three different kind of pops straight up to get go. You know, the Vorcha and uh, the Jemadar and that sort of thing. But we're going to be very, very, very boring. We're going to jump in into United Earth. Now, why it's called United Earth and not Starfleet? I don't know. Humans, Bozik. So, several things that they've changed. They've added a few of these things. So, for example, I'm stoic. Gives me max rivalries minus one, but trust growth is higher. So we're going to be playing a very um, alliance-y oriented game. Them. Uh, whereas... Uh, let me look if there is another unique one I found. Uh, there's definitely one for the Dominion. Uh... Which is a uh, shapeshifter. Uh, they live forever, but their growth time is non existent, if at all. So, you're not gonna get many new new founders, but you get a lot of four shows in it. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of other new ones in there yet. Stoic is in there again. I've renamed some of them, and I'm pretty sure they've added some. Bits and bobs to them. Formist, thrifty. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna stick with United Earth. I'm gonna turn just ahead of time. I'm gonna turn Endgame Crises off because I was so annoyed. So annoyed. It's gonna be a relatively large game. Um, playing in the entire Milky Way galaxy. So just keep that in mind. I don't know how many stars it is. Uh, I can check if they say so on the page somewhere. Just give me a second while I sift through it real quick. Uh, doesn't look like it. No, but from what I've seen, it's bit roughly a thousand stars, I think. FAQ, maybe somewhere there. No, no, it's just, it's a thousand stars. Maybe a little more. Wouldn't be surprised if it was a little bit more. But, AI Empire is 40, because we're having all species in. Uh, no advanced starts, because it's actually a custom start for every species. Like for the founders, I started with four planets or something, or four systems at the very least. Now we're going to play on normal difficulty, because, well, I just want to have some fun. Not really be bothered about and all the things. They have a lot of new loading screens, which are pretty nice. Ah, the specter of war had followed humanity for centuries. Yes, indeed. That from Cochrane. Nice Vulcan patronage. 
All right, a couple of sounds, new ones. So let's take a look at technology. There's a lot of missing icons still, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of um, what is what kind of thing. Uh, I'm actually thinking, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for Mark V engine. Yeah, War V engine. War Fives, right? I'm going to go for colony ships. And initially, I'm going to go... Oh, what does this do? Engineering console. But spaceport level 2. Now let's take a look at this. That is the Earth spaceport. Isn't that nice? Doesn't that look way cool? Sorry. <laughs> this is just a, I'm a geeking out over here. Custom pictures for people. They, by the looks of, actually um, limited the research a little bit. So you cannot spiral out of control. By creating free labs, basically, which is a pretty interesting way to go about it. But, done the research. Let's pick up. Oh, let's look at our ships real quick before we dive in. This is the Corvette, which is the uh, Emmet class. I think you see these in Star Trek Enterprise, the, the, the last one. But they're grey, if I remember correctly. They're not like brownish it could also be a like uh vulcan design that we're using or whatever this is the construction ship very cargo-y this is the science ship deadless of course cannot have this ship and not that it be a science ship and this is our transport also very yeah, hauler kind of thing, like freighter. You might notice something pretty, pretty severely different here. So if we look at his, um, notice how this is all gone. You have these subsystems like hull, your hull plating, your engine. Uh, this is, I think, your science console, your thrusters, and I think your actual normal uh, computer. Then you have up here your actual weapons so we have two pulse cannons and a nuclear torpedo launcher and then you have a secondary hull which is for your support for like here so notice how because uh i think because my warp free engines generate 150 energy uh, i don't actually have to add any nuclear reactors to it i could bring the energy up to two 12 but there's not an actual point to it you know it just makes my ships more expensive uh let's see my evasion is currently excess power plus seven percent it's eight percent so yeah no there's no real reason to add them but it's an interesting concept nonetheless changing your actual layouts like this but uh, let's get into it um, is there any real difference in the way uh, leaders are done? Not by the looks of. They don't look to have any unique flavory things to them just yet. Just that there are a few more of them I can pick from. Wow, you can pick from quite a few of them. Speaking. Um... Yeah, for now, and add that one to... Affirmative. Affirmative. Oh, that is so beautiful! Alright. R is currently very useless. It's mostly food. Just mostly food, that's what it is. Add some uh, research bots in there, but nothing special. So. It actually looks like my home system is explored. So let's go to Alpha Centauri first, then Bernard Star, 
and Sturv. And then we sort of go from there, getting wolf stuff down. Uh, that does mean that I have a construction ship I can use, which I should probably use to build some early game mining stations. Ow, Triton. There we go. Oh, check that. They changed the UI to be more bluish. <laughs> Sorry. I did. Migration treaty. Vulcan. Apparently, I know where several species are. Oh, yeah. Human people should not be prisoners in the United Earth, and neither should our own people be limited to inhabit our territory. Let us agree to remedy that. Yes. I've never played a game like this before, but... Sure. Uh, let us then save up. Defensive pack? Yeah. Challenge you. Challenge your preconceptions, or they will challenge you. There's custom sounds. Awesome. This is just me geeking out over exploring a new mod. Sorry. And in one of the universes that I'm actually the hairy excited about. Oh, there's a giant pile of planets here. Oh, wow. There's at least one, two, three, four planets I can colonize here. That is... Wow. Okay. So, let us actually... Explore these worlds in the hopes that they're not crazy. Station complete. Wow. Go back here. There's two planets there. Oh, the balls. Okay, that is awesome. Let's uh, clear out that and clear out this. And we'll put on some energy generation on there. Uh, build. Yeah, live on there, please. Okay. Mars, there's not much for Mars to do. Anomaly. You know, other than just it being there. Challenge your preconceptions or they will complete. challenge you. New research. Orbital satellite defense satellites. Destroyers. Uh yeah, let's let's go and open up destroyers. Uh I am going to do this one. I don't know what it adds, but it looks in. Uh migration free transporter access. With the advancements of technology and the transporter, we can now Expedite the migration pro process. Migrations. Hmm. Gravitic sensors. Upgrades the sensor package, I think. So that is actually something I like. And just ah, how cheap the research is. It boggles my mind. Mm hmm. Al Rel encountered alien civilization. What? Anomaly found. Yeah, go for it. Free one, so why not? Uh, I will actually. Because there is so much new stuff. We need at least one more science ship. Because so much stuff to do. Mirror, mirror. Oh dear. Captain Gertrude I. Earhart and the UA team beam down to Alpha Centauri. 
to explore the planet. Interesting mineral compositions seem to warrant further study. However, the approaching ion storm forces the array team, the away team, to return to the ship before geological analysis can be completed. With the rapidly increasing interference, transporter chief very nearly loses the away team's transporter patterns, but is fortunately able to beam Captain and the away team from the USS Clark safely. Following their return. Oh wow. Become angry and indeed violent towards the other crew members with little provocation. The executive officer has become concerned that there may be something wrong with the away team. Her mirror. I know where this is leading. Sick bay. Captain's doctor has run a complete medical examination of the captain, Captain Gerard Earhart, and the away team. As far as the doctor can tell, there's nothing wrong with any of them. There's no explanation can be provided to explain their violent behavior. The executive officer has the captain and the away team confined to the brig until they can determine the cause of the change in behavior, how it can be Eventually confides they're not from this universe. They've been replaced. Oh, oh, oh man. Captain and the away team must be saved. This is basically the mirror mirror episode. This is great. I absolutely love this. I'm not going to read the entire thing, I wasn't just going to spend reading it, but I'll just leave it up for a bit so you can read it on your own. Good to have the captain back. That is brilliant! Affirmative. Absolutely brilliant! So that does those free. Uh, you do serious wolf and another wolf. Oh, this is great! On the ship, Australia class. Station complete. Long range scan of planet complete. Leave it for Mirror, mirror. <laughs> I love this. Great. No much stuff got added until, like, in, comp in like, comparison to how much was in it initially. Research complete. Oh, research is done. All right, let's look at it. Phase cannons. Tactical console. Let's go for phase cannons. Science console. Unlocked bunker. Let's go for the science console. Nuclear explosive industrial fabricator. Okay. This still does what it's always done that is renamed trillium d and chemocyte i'm just geeking out where this is just gonna be me geeking out over star trek references the entire time we're playing Oh man, this is gonna be glorious. Anomaly found. Yeah. 
Centauri. Oh, there is a species here. Early Space Age. It's entered the early space age. Bring it to satellites. There's a lot of it here, ain't in there? Let's see, does there any differences to the policy? I wonder. Of course, Birch is limited. Uh, native interference, active study, native enlightenment. Let's keep it to prohibited. Free migration. I cannot resettle my guys, so they have to do that themselves. There's free voting. Peaceful. There's free market capitalism. Hmm. Utopian economics. An economic policy in which most goods can be produced in great abundance with minimal labor needed so that they become available to all very cheaply or even freely. Isn't this what they have? Like, uh, around the time of Enterprise, like, not Enterprise, um, uh, Picard's Enterprise and, uh, Voyager? What's that money doesn't really exist anymore? Huh. Well, I guess they still pay for it. Class M9 and a Class M17, so that's gonna be my first one. The Silent Enemy. Oh yeah, this is definitely start. This, this is the Enterprise. Okay, after the blah day in orbit. Oh man, we're running over time. So we'll be back with this event uh, in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're as excited about this as I am. I sure as hell. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.